Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Facebook. How was your weekend? Grand Horizons, one and all. Grand Horizons. Again, you know how that goes. All morning, I'm thinking, Grand Horizons, in your home, in your life. And I get here and I say, what my grandmother taught me to say, thanks for the love. What my grandmother taught me to say, and she said, I mean, she taught you to you, you know, it's like death. If those two words didn't come out your mouth in the morning. So it's kind of hard getting them out of my vocabulary of my vernacular. All right, let's start, get this party started. Oh, Betsy. Hey. You know I'm having these cameras issues. Here we are. Oh, how is everybody weekend? I even have sign up. Grand Rises, Grand Rises. In your home. Great Rises. In your life. See, there's words. It's strange how you, at 63, you're trying to replace, uh, change your, your vernacular. Words that you like to use. Words that make you happy. Words that make you feel good all over and on the inside. And you have to get rid of those words that didn't make you feel like that. And since you've been doing it for so long, it is easier said than done. So before this quick walk is over, good morning, good morning. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. This walk is so fast, oh my goodness. I was like, okay. I have all these things in my head, and I was like, okay. But you know, you have to get a man before then. You get five minutes, then you get 15. Then the next thing you know, you shut down. And you haven't said what you had to say in this quick walk. Okay, let me get my thoughts together. So glad to be walking with y'all. I missed y'all. Okay, but wait, wait, wait a minute. Right, um, oh yeah, yesterday I went walking. I went shopping. And I got the car and I'm walking and everything. And then all of a sudden, I felt this P A I N, honey. This P A I N. I was like, what? What? <laughs> and something said, squeeze your gut. And I, I did expose it. And the pain went away. And then, of course, my mind went. And I'm like, wow. I'm kind of like struggling walking. And something said, walk in your core. Walk in your core. Squeeze your gut. Walk in your core. And I pulled my gut. Honey, I was trying to make that belly button go through my spinal cord back here, honey. And I, I don't know, it's like I was revived. And I had the best time I've ever had shopping. I was whizzing around, taking my time, bending. It was, and it's because I was walking and moving in my core. And that's a different kind of moving. It's a wonderful kind of moving. So, I had to share that with y'all. Really, really did. I had the window open and stuff. But, I, you know, I thought she take a shower, so. If you go to the gym, if I went to the gym, or I did anything, even just walking, I don't sweat. Okay? It takes old people a lot to sweat. That's another reason why y'all see me like this. I don't want to be cool. I'm working out to sweat. Speed up this metabolism. I'm not working out to 
pulled the in there, but I cannot just have all the wool. So, that's what I want to tell you about. So, as long as you're moving your core, man, and that's, this is where I was walking around Stop Yourself. I had my car. I was like, mmm. Okay, mmm. Push my little cart. Squeezing. Squeezing my core. I'm just walking up and down the aisle. Cool, cool as a cucumber. <laughs> okay, y'all know we're in the basement, right? So, about a month ago, not even a month ago, I don't want to get the daddy long leg. Well, a daddy long leg <laughs> moved right in front of me. And it's been there now for maybe like three weeks. And I usually just like brush down there when I live down here. It's just like brush them away, you know, put them outside. But for some reason, when I come down in the morning, Daddy Long Legs is there for me. And through my whole walk, it seems like, what call is she? She's listening. She's there. I thought she was like dead or something one time. But good morning. And I went over and like I moved my finger around her and she was moving like, like oh get away from me. And I was like, listen. I just want to see if you was alive. So she chills out while I walk. I remember the one time I had this ladybug. <laughs> Me and my my boyfriend, man friend. We had a ladybug pet for over a year. Great rising. Um. So. I, uh, I, I like pets like that, so it's standing there. Now, this is another thing I want to say about Great Risings. It's raw. The sun god raw. And it is me. Okay? So, that's why I say Risings. But it sounds better saying Risings. I just explain it to you. And there was times when I read books that those were words and stuff that they used in different ways that I was taught in school that it was wrong and I would fail. And I remember the first time as an adult when I read J.K. Rowling's book and she used the word magic. And she put a K in the ED. And I was like, wow. That's a very popular book. And then, thank goodness for the rappers, they make stuff up all the time. And they put a meaning behind it. And then the fact that I read this book called The Professor and the Madman. The Making of the Oxford Dictionary. And the meaning of words like they would read Shakespeare book and then they would say well I read this sentence and I think that that word means and then they give what they think the meaning of the word was so there was this madman who did a lot oh good morning did a lot to add to the dictionary but he was a madman he was crazy so a lot of his definition for words, that's what it comes from. It comes from these white people, European English, because it's the Oxford Dictionary. It comes from them reading books and picking out this word and saying, I think this word means such and such because I read the sentence. So I said, well, why were we, why were we, I remember in my class, we were basically minority, we weren't encouraged to have that kind of thinking, which is called free thinking. If we didn't get the exact meaning of that woman standing in front of us, 
Then we got Red Mark. It wasn't free thinking. And I didn't think we could free think. I, I think it was on a download that you did like free thinking like you would be smart, but it was like only like a, a little group. So, rises. Great rises. Now you know what it means. Why well, I say it, it's spelled R A I S I N G. S. Okay? Now, put that to rest. And it works. I'll tell you that. It works very well. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, good morning. I'll read all that stuff on our break. All these wonderful stuff. Oh, we're at 10 minutes. Oh, oh, oh. Before I forget, because this walk is so fast. I get off here. Okay. Remember, squeeze your gut. I get off this thing, and I say, oh, sorry, Betsy. Betsy's not a thing. My treadmill. Beautiful Betsy. I get off Betsy, and I say, Ding! I was going to talk about this, and I forgot. The time goes by so fast, so fast. It, uh, this little walk does great wonders, let me tell you. Let's get to squeeze your gut, honey. Walk in your core. And that's what I kept saying at the supermarket yesterday. I was like, walk in your core. Walk in your core. Squeeze your gut. And I was just pushing that belly button back. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it back. I was like, strolling. Man, I had the best time. Anyway, see how old people are going to start talking about one thing and get. And you move on to something else. <laughs> but walking in your core is, uh, is awesome. And now that I'm so mindful of it. And if I forget, when all this weight comes down on my hips and my knees, I remember real fast. And boy, I suck in this gut like you would not believe. Really like, That belly button goes all the way in, presses all the way in, and all of a sudden, I am walking freely. I am walking so freely, and all I'm doing is squeezing my belly button. I wish there was a way y'all could remind me of what I was, story I was telling before I interrupted myself. <laughs> and forgot because I think it's a good point. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? So. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I got it. Remember how we do our hand exercises? I know the weights that we do like this. I can lift things so easily. I can lift pots. Like I said, I was amazed when I did that, I don't know, Mediterranean dish, where you had to put the plate on it and flip the pot and the food over, and wow, wow, held it. I was like, put it on, here's the frying pan, put the plate on top. I flipped it, and it was heavy. I had the heavy plate, the heavy food, and the heavy pot. So then, I take the pot off, and I have the heavy plate with the food. But now I gotta get back in the frying pan, but right side up, or what, upside down. So, hold the pot, I got the plate, and I'm finagling it back in the frying pan. And then I have the weight in this hand, in this hand, right? Right, and I put it back on the stove and I put the lid back on and it finished cooking. And I was like, holy cow! Oh yeah, baby! Yeah! So, we oh, gotta make this quick, because it's coming to our uh, halfway more. 
So I changed the toilet seat. And I had to get underneath there to get to those screws. And I, I used to DW40, my daughter told me. But I was just, these, look how these trains was doing. They did that and they did that. They did that until that screw was up and off. Just to find out that the replacement toilet bowl seat is too small. So, <laughs> I had to put it back on. And I was screwing it. That's how I was doing. It took me some time. And I was just so amazed at the patience and the flexibility. Hey, we're at our 15 minute mark. Water, water, water. And this part of our show is brought to you by I Like to Say Yes. Keep the word yes in your child's vocabulary by reading I Like to Say Yes to your child. I Like to Say Yes had brightly colored pages with colorfully dressed children running, jumping, and playing. And the best part of this book that I First open page. Do you love mommy? Yes. Kind of teaching love I am. <laughs> hey, we just got water this time, but just let me read some of the comments real fast. Thanks for coming in for the walk with us. Hey, Jill. Oh, I'm feeling well today, Joan. I hope you are too. Hey, Diane. Oh, it's a sunny day in Canada. Enjoy the walk. Enjoy the walk. Oh, where's my water? Hold on a minute, y'all. Let me get the water. I know everyone doesn't stop. Some people I'm aware, they keep walking when I stop. And then there's some people like me that stop. So I don't know who they are, but I imagine they're there. I got my new filter for the alkaline water. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you something. Whew, I may have waited too late to get that water filter changed because I'm telling you. Whew, that water was so pure out that filter. I kind of just knew. Let's speed it up, right? Squeeze your core.
great rises, great rises, great rises. That's all that's coming through my head. Rises, rises. Great and wonderful rises. Great, wonderful, powerful rises. Not surprising. As we become better and better and better and stronger and stronger and stronger. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your core. seconds. We should do it. Exercise removes depression because when you exercise, the amazingness of your body is so clear to you. You can't help but smile. You can't help but be amazed by what your own body is doing. 
I'm amazed that we're in the third week of the fifth month of walking. Seven o'clock every morning. But the, the test for me comes after the sixth month because I have gone to the gym and worked out for hours, six o'clock in the morning, every day. And what happens always is by that sixth month, it would be something job related. And I couldn't work out anymore. Uh, or I would have to change to working out in the evening. Or to just being able to work out on the weekends. So I get a little anxious, you know, like we got past the third month and fourth month. Now we're in the fifth month. And as we get closer to the sixth month of exercising, I'm just saying, please, I just want to be able to continue to walk in the morning. And I say great risings to my daughter and her real estate career and her job because she is the one that retired me and she's the major breadwinner in the family and I don't want to have to go back for using my energy that way It paid the bills, but the pain was great. <laughs> the pain was great. Yeah. A job I had that I love, I made for myself. Whenever at a child, my daughter, yeah, I would come into babysitting problems because they don't have daycares like they have now. And I would find myself at home, I would become the mother that took the kids. So I would contact the neighborhood parents and say, listen, I'm home. You know, they got reading this, uh, reading this fundamental at the library. It's okay if I, after school, I grab your kids up and we go to the reading program. They said, no program, no problem. In the summertime, if I was unemployed because of babysitting problems, I would go back and knock on the door and say, hey, I'm home for the summer. I got this whole thing planned out. We're gonna have a zoo day. We're gonna have a <laughs> pool day. We're gonna have a beach day. And then we're just gonna hang on the block. But I'm home, so I'll be out there. And that was my bestest job ever. And it wasn't really a job. Just felt really good. And I remember <laughs> saying in the summertime, I, can't, I couldn't stand seeing the kids on the block. It just used to burn me up. I just couldn't. So it would be like, trip. I think we had a routine. Prospect Park Monday, Block Tuesday. Wednesday pool, Thursday at home, or library, Thursday like library. Then Friday, we would do the beach. And that would be like an hour and a half, two hour train ride out to the beach. They did this, we could walk to the pool. And we used to catch the bus to go to Prospect Park and get on the carousel and we named the seals. And, oh, oh, see, time is getting away. Oh, I'm doing this because this was, wait, these fingers was unscrewing that little screw underneath. Well, it's not a little screw. But I was just amazed. I kept saying, 
um, what is it? Whitey tidy, lefty loosey. Whitey tidy, lefty loosey. And these fingers, they were just going. I was like, holy guacamole, all the way down. And then they took it off, and then I had to put it back on. And then I, it went, and I was like, wow, Nimbalinas. I love my Nimbalinas. They do what I need them to. I love my, I love my Nimbalinas. Nimbalina, Nimbalina. I think as long as the blood can get through, we all can be Nimbalinas. Wow. I see that's what I'm saying. I was so amazed. Because I was like, my daughter said, I was like, hand me the wrench. Hand me this. I was like, my fingers can't do that. These fingers are 63. They can't be grabbing a hold of no little screws and screwing them out. And the first thing when I try to hit my head, my nibble is that put some rubber gloves on us. If we have rubber gloves, we can catch it. We can hold it better. I went and got those rubber gloves, and I was a screwing machine. Well, nope. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> okay, I said that wrong. I said that totally wrong. When I put the gloves on, I was able to, to take the screws and fasten them tightly. Okay. I'll <laughs> this walk is so fast. So fast. Oh. And I still ain't tell you half the things I want to tell you. Still didn't. Because it's so quick. It's almost over. Let's do 10. Squeeze your gut. Tuck in your elbows. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, there we go. No, I didn't do one for good luck. <laughs> and I got the backdrops for our bike thing, so I'm working on it. I'm going to put some testing video out of the bike riding sometime this week. But for right now, Say it with me. I'm walking. Yes, indeed. I'm walking. Oh, yeah. Just for me. I'm walking. Thank you for the company. Thank you. Thank you for the company. Hey. This quick walk is over. Thanks so much for joining me for my walk. YouTube.